Hey, welcome back. So now that we have Angular Material installed, and if, you have, if you're not there yet, you need to do a few things. You need to do a Git checkout now. And we are at version um, 108, something like that. So you have to do that checkout. And then you also, if you haven't followed the last lesson, you have to do a bar install again, point, and then it'll actually download um, the Angular Material. And of course, update all the code to look like the one we had in the last lesson. So what do I want to do this lesson? Well, I want to add an icon here, and then I want to add the delete button. That's the goal of it. So let's just start off by adding the icon. And it's pretty simple because we just want to use the URL we've installed already inside our model. So let me just go down to the model just to show you. I have something called an icon URL already ready. We made this in one of the schemas we built earlier. So I'm going to use this icon URL to actually present an image. So I've changed the HTML in here in the syllabus HTML. And what did I change? Well, I changed the ng source here to instead of being the old ng source to actually now use syllabus.icon URL. Just notice that I'm, I'm getting this for free since I haven't changed anything the model is already there. So whenever there's data in it, it'll actually be pulled using the resource in AngularJS that I showed you earlier. So this means that I can actually just say, icon URL, please send that. Another thing I did was I added another form group up here. So that means that I pretty much copied this one for lecture and I made a new one that says, it's for the syllabus URL it's going to be under URL and it's going to use new syllabus. And then I need to use the same name for the model that I'm saving icon URL. And then these guys are just set up so that the placeholder is changed and stuff like that. Now, what does that mean? That means that now I can actually have another field here. So making a new one called the new course and I'll be the lecturer again. And let's just grab an image here. I'll remove it later. It, it's just to have something to show. Copy image address and I'll just paste it in here. Wink, and I'll just add it to the syllabus and now I have the new guy. So now he actually has an image and I'm actually starting to have something that looks a bit more like a real web page, right? A bit more like, like this. Um, let's just go back to the front page here. A bit more like this, that's what we have now. So let's go back to our UI here. Now, another thing I added after I start this lesson is a delete button. Notice that I have a click here for the entire item, but I can also select the single delete. This is something we got for free because we now chose Angular Material. So let's go into the Angular Material demos. Let's find the list again. And here you can see, I just need to add an empty button with a class of MD secondary and some kind of click event and then I can actually add a new button. And, and what I actually use as an example is this guy right here. So you can just find that in here. I copied this single line here and I pasted it in right here. Let me just do it again. Copy it, paste it in right above the new one I made um, down here. So I pasted it in like this. I kept most of it, but then I changed it into being a delete the syllabus with the name of delete because now I wanna be able to delete a single syllabus. So that was how I did that. And by adding this single line, I now have the new click button. Now, the last thing I need to do, because I also need to make it so that when I actually click it, it's going to hit this action right here, right? It needs to execute this uh, function right here. So I need to add that function. And remember, when we're working with AngularJS and a lot of other of the web tools out there, we have MVC, we have a model, a view, and a controller. So this is the, what we're looking at here is the view. The syllabus is the model and then the controller is going to execute this function for me. And luckily we have something called the syllabus controller. Inside the syllabus controller, I added on the scope a new function called delete syllabus. And that function is going to get the syllabus from the view. Let me go back here. It's going to send in the syllabus from the view and that comes from up here and when I got that syllabus, I can actually use our service that we defined down here, the resource service. I can actually use that service to do a delete 
on the very specific syllabus with this very specific ID. And when it's done, I'll just return right now, it's been deleted, nothing else. So I'll save this. And now setting up those three areas, one, adding an MD button, two, adding some action inside my controller that I wanna do whenever I click this button, and three, adding the actual code to be executed when I do the delete syllabus. I can now start deleting my syllabus is here. Let me go to localhost, pressing delete here. Almost there, whoopsie, I'll press delete, boink, and the course is gone. We'll make it more shiny in the next lesson, but that's it for now, see you next time.